Staff Sergeant Christopher Allen well, with the 36th Security Forces Squadron, Anderson Air Force Base, Guam. This is my first time in the Philippines. Uh, it's very great. People are very welcoming, uh, very nice, very good food. I'm loving it here. Uh, what we did today was kind of give a little bit of a demo of what our dog's capabilities are, um, how we kind of can mix with other canine units as far as training, um, how much we have uh, related to each other with that. Uh, we worked with the Filipino Air Force. Working alongside with the PAF has been an outstanding experience. Um, they've been teaching us a lot of things or uh, kind of exchanging information, but um, it's, it's been going very well. I have not worked with the Philippine services before. Um, we have worked with different countries uh, at Anderson Air Force Base, but this is the first time actually intertwining with uh, PAF. Uh, what have I learned from them? I've learned how they use dogs um, with different capabilities. I've never seen um, dogs be able to find people like under rubble and stuff. So when they demoed us that, kind of showed us how they did that, it was amazing. Um, their training standards uh, are pretty much just as the same as ours. We just work in a different way. And the, the way that they work is, it's amazing. How do I see our team and their team kind of working together? Honestly, it's one big team. Um, just intertwining our dogs together, trying to get that same basis of information and have our dogs at the same level is the kind of the goal. But um, ultimately, I think we would have no problem being able to work with them side by side. I think the exchange benefits the handlers in many ways um, just by kind of finding that middle ground of how we can keep that training um, the same but a little bit different in our own ways uh, as well as they might have some capabilities that we don't have as far as uh, as the same as we have capabilities that they might not have so I think when if we were to intertwine we both have strong suits on size that we could both learn. Yes, yes. Uh, we actually hung out um, last Saturday. We played some basketball. Those guys can really hoop. <laughs> they really can. Uh, we pretty much played for a couple hours, and they did not stop. That heat was not, uh, was not affecting them, but it was affecting us. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, spending time with them outside of work, it was amazing. Just because we could kind of open up a little bit, kind of you know, break bread a little bit, play a game that we both love, and just kind of talk to each other um, offline and just see what other similarities we have besides work. Yeah, I'm very thankful to be here. Um, I want to thank the uh, PAF for allowing us to be here and, and training with them and intertwining and um, just exchanging information. It's been a blast. I think the biggest thing that I've learned here so far is you really have to be open with everybody around you when it comes to training. Um, there's obviously kind of a language barrier, but just because there's a language barrier doesn't mean that we can't exchange information and kind of see eye to eye on stuff. And they've taught us more than I could possibly have learned in this short amount of time. It's, it's been amazing. As far as how this is going to impact the dogs is you're going to have more things in your pocket that you can teach them, um, different techniques that may benefit them or benefit dogs at your other kennels. Um, what have we done since we've been here? Um, within this week, we got a lot of, uh, accomplished. We've uh, kind of imprinted our do uh, their dogs on an odor that they have not really uh, dealt with before. So it was really warm to see the dogs being able to actually work and use our odors as well. Um, we've intro some patrol training, which is just that bite work and just seeing how um, we can build their dogs up or how they can build their dogs up from the ground up and just kind of see how we did it. Um, we also, um, did some odor placement so yeah, so we did some odor placement basically just strengthening the dog's capabilities to find odor um, which was a huge thing they taught us a lot um, about that because they search in a different way but kind of the same um, we did some gunfire training um, the other day we had some smoke grenades we had um, some G uh, gbs's which is just kind of a like a mock of a, a big flashbang or um, just a kind of a big boom and I believe that was their dog's first time being exposed to it so seeing that they had no issues with it or they did have a little bit of issues and they just kind of worked uh, through it uh, just like we would. Um, I think one of the most beneficial um, most benefiting things that we have done was the uh, veterinarian training so we have a a mock diesel dog is what we call it but it basically bleeds it barks uh, it gives off pulse uh, pulses breast per minute everything so 
uh, seeing the handlers and the trainers and their um, their vet as well being able to do hands-on uh, incisions uh, tracheotomies uh, that's that was some very great stuff and uh, our lieutenant colonel was really taught that very good